Hey, welcome to Gun Stuff. Today, we get a chance to come out to the range and play with the Ruger Charger. All right, so this is what we have. Ruger Charger comes in a uh, carrying bag, opens up. It can be used as a cleaning mat, shooting mat, or whatever. You want to, uh, however you want to use it, it has your uh, carrying pockets in here. Uh, Ruger Charger has been around for quite some time. Uh, this is, it's, it's not really a new gun, but this is their latest version of that new gun. So what they've done is they've taken and the, the classic charger based on the Ruger 1022 platform and they've put the breakdown model uh, on it. So the gave it the breakdown action. Uh, they've also added a Picatinny rail on the back and uh, it comes with the bipod on the front as well and you have your choices of different uh, type of bipods you can attach with the different lug patterns and everything on here that you want to, that this is the one that comes with it uh, but then you can also uh, change it out put a different type on there if you want uh, it comes with the lightweight barrel this barrel is machined down has an aluminum sleeve with uh, lightning holes drilled all the way through it and what that does is that uh, they press that barrel into this aluminum sleeve and what it does is it gives it a little bit of more resistance and gives a little more strength without sacrificing the weight reduction from without sacrificing strength from the weight reduction uh, lightning uh, thinning that they do on the barrel itself on the steel barrel uh, it comes with a uh, half by 28 threaded barrel on it so you can uh, attach whatever muzzle device on here that you want so this is cool we've thrown our uh, swamp fox blade on here just for shooting for today uh, this is a cool gun it comes with the Picatinny uh, on the back and the sling attachment, quick QD sling attachment, pops into the top so you, you can carry this on a sling as you're walking through uh, the woods or uh, hiking or whatever. But really this is meant to be a backpack gun. This, mean, this thing is, is designed to be uh, taken apart and carried in a position to where uh, you are in a position where you are like this inside of a backpack. And then if you get into a situation where you need it, uh, you can get this gun out uh, reattach it and then now you're ready to go ready to jump into action okay so ruger charger with the breakdown action really cool right but the the thing that's coolest about this is the fact that this is a platform that they built for you that isn't it, it, this is great but as soon as you take this and you start throwing in these things right here that's when this thing starts to excel okay so we don't have this gun uh, attack stamp on this gun okay so i can't put this stock on here and shoot it and show this or anything like this on video or anything like that so i can't put this on here and fire it this way but you can pay, pay for the tax stamp or you can get the sb tactical version of this that has the forearm grip that goes on the back it's pretty much the same thing a lightweight aluminum uh, or, or steel. I, I don't know if it comes in steel or aluminum, but it has the forearm grip thing in, this, in, this, in the strap that goes around it that's uh, it's an arm brace. We don't, I don't have one of those at my disposal right now. This is what I have off one of my other rifles. But like I said, I can't attach it onto here because I don't have this SBR. I don't have the tax stamp to, cl to claim this as an SBR. But we do have this. Uh, this is this is good to go. So we can put this on and fire this in a little bit. Uh, and the, of course, this suppressor works well on here. It's half by 28 thread. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing loaded up. We're going to shoot some targets down range. Show you a little bit of performance. We're going to run some high velocity through it. We're going to run some subsonic through it. And then we're just going to do a little bit of accuracy testing. Accuracy testing. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are. Uh, we got a target set up down at 50 yards, and I'm going to zero this thing real quick with 50 at the 50 yards. I'm going to be using uh, uh, the uh, CCI 40 grain target loads. So we're going to start off. We're going to zero with this, and then just to just to do a little bit of accuracy testing at 50, I'll plink out a little bit of a couple of different yardages, and then uh, then we'll go through and we'll shoot a bunch of different loads on it too, just to see how it cycles everything. All right, here we go. So I'm going to. I got my. Target set at 50, I got my spotting scope set on it, so I'm just gonna shoot from here and then and spot it on there since we're so close to, we're doing such close in stuff today, so. And get this on here. All right. All right, this is a little, uh, this is a little bit uh, different without a stock, but I just wanna give this as much accuracy as I can give it.
All right, let's take a look at our, at our group. All right, so I've got about an inch and a half group down there. We'll go down and take a look at it here in a second. Uh, so uh, the CCI cycles just fine through here, holding a, a fairly accurate group. Uh, we'll, we'll go down and take a look at it right now. All right, so here we are at the target. Uh, so like I said, we're 50 yards up the hill up there. This is about an inch and a half uh, size group, which is not bad because you don't have a stock. So essentially, you're, you know, you're still shooting like a pistol. But I was able to get my hand up underneath it to give me a little bit more support. But that's why they include the bipod on this model. The charger was always meant to be shot from a bipod. Uh, the only time it wouldn't be is if you're like in a situation where you're trying to, you're out in the woods and you're hunting squirrel or you're hunting something and you're going to be shooting up in a tree at something. You know, if you're hunting squirrel out of the tree or something with your with the 22 or, or smaller game. Uh, so, but really it's designed to be shot off the bipod to give you the most accuracy. So with it, with it having a 10 inch barrel, uh, it, it's going to give you a little bit more, it's going to give you a lot more accuracy than a pistol, but it's not still not going to be as accurate as say the full length 16 inch barrel. But this is, this is, I'm more than happy with this group for now. I would give this uh, another click or two down on the scope. So I'll go back, I'll give it another click, but then all the rest of these, we're just going to be plinking. Uh, we just wanted to just get a baseline for the accuracy on this and to me this is more than acceptable for a pistol so all right so now we are going to be shooting the uh, American Eagle 38 grain copper copper plated CCI up there okay okay so we already got our uh, groups so I'm just going to start uh, engaging some steel just to uh, see for cycling. Okay. All right. So uh, got one hiccup here. So as you can see, got one uh, failure to eject there. And it came back. Kicked it, so I'm gonna kick those two out. It still picked up the round out of there, so it kicked out a live round and a and a spent round, but the spent round caused the jam. Still got a couple rounds left in the magazine, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish them off. Okay. Alright. That should have been it. Alright, so we did have one failure to eject on this 38 grain. All right, so now we're on to the Remington Golden Bullets. These are 36 grain bullets. All right, we had one failure to eject on this one. Set it back up. Finish the mag out. All right, clear. All right, so that got about a two and a half inch spread. Got about a two and a half inch spread out of the federal. Um, but also in the, in the uh, defense of the federal also, I'm using a, a one inch square pasty down there as a, as a target. And the one inch uh, with the naked eye at 50 yards is very hard to see. So it could be me just letting the, flo the chevron float around on top of the pasty and not really being able to gauge because I don't have a high powered optic on here. Usually we will overpower the uh, 
the gun when we're doing accuracy testing. I like to throw a big scope on here just so that way we can take out all the, uh, the limiting factors of shooter ability and all these other things, vision, stuff like that, being able to uh, see the t target clearly and have it magnified to the maximum uh, potential that we can. Uh, but I know it's, it's one of those things that uh, we just, nobody's ever going to end up throwing a big scope on here. So this is meant for small and being small and compact. So we're just gonna, that's what we're rolling with for today. All right, so I'm gonna uh, finish out the rest of this mag on steel. All right. So we had no cycling issues with the Federal, uh, with any of the Federal ammunition. So here's where the fun part comes in. We're gonna sit down, we got our suppressor on here now, we're gonna uh, shoot some subs through it. Uh, don't need these anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off, put these away. So we're not gonna need these the rest of the time, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the suppressor on here and we're just gonna have some fun with this. Okay, so we got this loaded up with the Guela uh, 40, uh, 40 grain subsonics. Not sure what the impact shift's gonna be on this, but uh, being able to, uh, I, won't, I won't be able to see it too well from here, so I'm just gonna go over on the steel. <laughs> oh, these are so much fun to shoot. So you can hear the gun cycle, and most of the snap of what you hear is the bolt slapping uh, inside of there. Uh, but you can hear that the steel rings so much louder than the actual report of the firearm itself. So I'm gonna fire a couple more here. All right, so that's making a bunch of noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple down range so, it, so you don't hear the steel uh, ringing. So then uh, we'll just be listening for the bolt uh, making noise itself. So I'm gonna just aim off into the dirt way down range here. Yeah, so the, the recoil on this is, is next to nothing uh, as, this is, uh, as this is going off, but then uh, the sound isn't anything either. So this is like pretty much like shooting a BB gun. Of course, the 40 grains aren't gonna be as lethal, but if you have to do some quiet hunting or something like that, you know, you're, you're in a situation where you want to uh, uh, harvest some game or, or something like that for food or whatever, and you, and you want to do it quietly, this, was, this would be a very compact and great setup for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, aim down here. Let's see. Okay, so there's 100. Okay, 100 yards, e easy. Oh, out of bullets, dang it. So this is the problem with shooting 22. You will run out of bullets all day long. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple more in here real quick. We'll engage a couple further targets just to see uh, just how well we can engage it at further ranges. So one of the things I like also is the fact that they put the 15 round magazine in here. You can get the 10 round rotary mags uh, have been the standard for ever since the gun, for just about ever since the gun came out. Um, and those are, those are a nice compact option, but if you want a couple extra rounds, then this will give you the couple extra rounds that you want to, but it doesn't come with a 30 round stick that comes, or would come all the way down to say, to, to this position here. Uh, that would, could then be a little bit more cumbersome, get a little bit more in the way. Uh, but you also, there, there's so many parts for this gun and the aftermarket support for this gun is just amazing. You can find everything that you could possibly want to do to this gun uh, is, is out there. So it's just getting online, finding whatever favorite triggers, parts, scopes, you name it. Everything is made for this. So uh, this is just a one power scope. So I'm aiming at 150 yards still. Back to 100. All right. I can't even tell if I'm hitting because it's so quiet. Let's see here. Ah, there we are again. <laughs> All day long, just running out of ammo. So. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just top this thing off another time. All right, so you're not always gonna be able to uh, shoot this thing from the prone or off a table or something like that. So a lot of times uh, what you can get on this is you can take these and you can utilize these against other surfaces. Put this up against a tree, then you can engage out to, let's say here, we'll go 1500. So what this does is this allows you to use a point of support. Glasses are fogging up. It allows you to use a point of support that's not the barrel itself. Uh, short barrel, rigid barrel like this wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be as big a deal for you to use this as a support on here. You have the hand guard, but all this is still attached. The hand guard and, and everything is all still attached to the uh, barrel and the, and the lug and everything itself. So anytime that you can use something that uh, that's gonna be uh, not putting pressure on the barrel is gonna be a little bit better. So we're gonna keep shooting and just running this, running this a lot. So, so uh, here we are, we're about 50, 60 yards. And what basically wanna show you real quick is uh, defensive capability with these things. A lot of people write little 1022s off and stuff like that as not being able to be used as a defensive weapon, but you got 15 rounds, being able to just drop anywhere you are and then jump into a uh, position like this I'm gonna go ahead and send a quick volley on the onto the steel. All right, so uh, we got the other camera down range. Um, once you take a look at that video, uh, it's one of those things that uh, if you if if any anybody any animal or anything received a volley like that of 22 long rifle, uh, they're gonna stop what they're doing. They're gonna stop advancing on your position they're gonna any animal bear uh, any, any large animal whatever is gonna stop what it's doing and it's gonna run the other way when it gets hit with something like that so let's go take a look at the footage all right so we just put down a little bit of suppressive fire on the steel right so uh, that's what the, one of these things are great for these little chargers and 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 these uh, little pistol caliber carbines and all these different things that are making these uh, a little more compact They're making it a lot easier to be able to defend yourself against uh, different threats so uh, and looking at that and watching that that watching these rounds impact that steel in such a rapid rapid succession uh, there's not too many things that are going to stay in that fight they're going to turn around they're going to run bad guy uh, wild animal you name it they're gonna they're you know and that's and that's really what this is for defensive and of course you know you can always hunt with it take small game things like that but uh, one of the things that were like I said this is a perfect thing for backpack gun but what this was really designed for was for applications with it's for for to be able to put all the different things on here like your suppressor and a side folding stock and or arm brace okay so i can't like i said before i can't attach this but i'm just going to hold this up there just to be able to give you just a little bit of a a taste of what this thing could really turn into so uh you put you you go ahead and fill out the paperwork on this and and put a stock on it or you just go ahead and get one of the arm braces but then once you attach this and this folds off to the side you end up with a package just like this okay so this thing will fold off to the side of course this arm comes down uh, the SB tactical arm brace is is one that's already on the market for this and there's um, you know there's other other uh, companies making arm braces daily uh, but by the time you have all this on here if you also buy a suppressor that comes with some type of quick disconnect then you will be in a position where you'll be able to uh, have your quick disconnect on here as well and all of this stuff once this is, is all packed away this comes you know you do a quick disconnect on this and, and it all gets packed away into the size of something like this right here okay so that's what this that's the that's the spot the, the sweet spot that this gun is trying to fill so a lot of people uh, I myself included once you first take it out of the package you're like oh yeah a charger a Ruger 1022 those been around forever but until you get it out on the range and you put it through stuff like this that's when this gun becomes impressive and then not to mention that it already has the full aftermarket support and you have a plethora of ammunition and uh, uh, different calibers types I, I'm, I'm sorry not calibers yeah 22 caliber but you got all the different types of ammunition and, and ammunition manufacturers and it's plentiful uh, and you can carry so much in just in just one small bag 
you can carry a couple hundred rounds. So something like this will last you a long time in a survival situation. Or if you're just going out hiking and you know you're gonna be hiking way out and you want something that's gonna be able to deliver a little more firepower than a, a, a pistol and hold more, a lot more rounds than a pistol. So this is an excellent option for that. We know we like it and we hope you like it too.